Hey everybody, welcome back to my beauty channel. Today is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I actually did this look when James and I were in Savannah at the beginning of June and I absolutely, absolutely love this look. I think it's one of my favorites that I have done here recently. And for this look I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. I cannot tell you how much I love this palette. The shadows blend so easily. They're super pigmented and they're just beautiful. There's the palette there and uh, it's so beauty. It's so pretty. So if you would like to see how this look comes about, stay tuned. I've already primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot and now I'm going in with Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe and I'm just using a little sponge applicator to apply this to my lid and I'm just doing really really small strokes and then I'm going to build that up a little bit and I'm just staying on the lid with this color tattoo. I do not want it to go up into the crease and you will see I'll flip over the sponge applicator to blend it out just a little bit on the edges and this will provide such a nice base for the first eyeshadow we will be placing. I absolutely love these color tattoos from Maybelline. They are thebomb.com. Once I get the color tattoo where I want it, we are going to go in with our first shadow, which is called Beigely from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. It is a very light silvery color and it doesn't show up much on its own, but over this color tattoo, it just looks so, so incredibly pretty. I love, love the shade over this color tattoo. Next, I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk number no. 9 blending brush with the shade Dusty Rose. I love this shade. It is probably one of my very, very favorites in this palette. It is just such a pretty color. And I'm just going to apply this in the crease and a bit above the crease because of my hooded eyes. And I'm just going to build this up to the intensity that I want it. You guys know the drill. You know how this works. So I'm just going to keep blending and keep blending. And I'm also going to kind of go a little bit over the line of the beigely color just to blend that all in. Once I get Dusty Rose up to the intensity that I would like, I'm going to take just a little bit of the shade Punch Fuchsia on the same brush just to add a little bit more of a purple hue to my crease. Then I'm going to take an e.l.f. blending eye brush and I'm going to take the shade Aubergine and I'm just going to place this directly in my socket line just to add a little bit depth of depth and dimension to the eyes and I'm just going to work that back and forth in initial wiper motions and once I get that up to the intensity I'm just going to take just a small bit of Dusty Rose on that same blending brush from earlier and blend that out. Then we're using some NYX liquid liner just to create a nice wing. I'm a little bit on the fence on this liner. It is very black at last, but it is awkward to use. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some number 11 Kiss Lashes to my eyeballs. And boom, that's what it looks like. We're going to move on to tight lining my eyes with the NYX Trey Jolie Black Eyeliner. I'm also going to run that along my waterline too, but I did it out of frame. Go me! Then also out of frame, I put some Aubergine and Dusty Rose on my lower lash line using the e.l.f. crease brush. Now we are using the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm using the shade Fawn. And I'm just going to apply this where you would normally apply your contour. I am going to go a little bit ham on this. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to mix um, Java in there as well. And I'm just going to go all out crazy ham on my contour. And I will do that. I will also contour my nose using a Real Techniques uh, eyeshadow brush. And then I will take a brush that I got in a kit at Target. It's the Up and Up brand. And it was just a little face 
uh, brush set. It was like two brushes in there that I saw Emily Noel 83 talk about here on YouTube. And so I bought it and I love it. And I'm just going to take the kind of fluffy, bigger fluffy like foundation brush and blend all of this crazy, crazy contour in. You will see it's going to get really dramatic here in just a moment. I am really big on when I do a dramatic look like this to contour the hell out of my face because I just feel like it makes the whole look come together because your eyes are all glammed up so you might as well look like a supermodel with all the chiseled cheekbones and the nose looking all nice and contoured and pretty and I usually don't go this ham on my contour for an everyday everyday look but you know for the sake of the video right and I do apologize I don't know what was going on with my lighting uh, this particular day it was acting insane and so some parts I'm looking orange and some parts I look okay so I've switched up my lighting you've seen that in the intro and you'll see it in the outro I fixed it so we should be good to go then I am going to take the shade sand from that contour kit and I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. You guys know the drill. You know, you know, and that highlight though. Let me know down below if you know who says that all the time. Uh, if you watch her, you'll know. So I'm just going to do that and super highlight my face as well. And then I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match blush in the shade Tender Rose and this little angled Eco Tools brush and apply that to my cheeks. I love, love this shade. It's very natural, but it does have a kind of blue base to it so it goes really really well with the eyes and the lips that you will see here in just a little bit. I will say one thing with this blush it is very beautiful but it definitely takes a little while to build up but I kind of like that because then you can decide on the intensity that you want. Onto the lips I am using an elf matte lip pencil in the color tea rose. This is by far one of my favorite lipstick colors of life. It is just a beautiful blue based lavendery purpley uh I don't know. You see it's just uh it's so pretty. Go get it. It's three dollars. Go pick it up. You will not be disappointed. Once I get that on I'm just going to top that off with the NYX butter gloss in the shade meringue. I'm just applying this very lightly just to give a little bit of sheen to my lips and we're done. So that does it for this tutorial featuring the Anastasia Artist Palette. Oh, again, love this palette. If you have not gotten your hands on it, what are you waiting for? Go get it. Go get it now. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know what looks you would like to see, what colors you would like to see out of the artist palette in a tutorial. I will be glad, glad to do that for you. If you just can't get enough of this face, all of my social media links are down in the description box below, as well as all the links to my other channels here on YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.